Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So with Halloween right around the corner, I thought it would be fun to do a Halloween makeup tutorial. So today's look is a zombie schoolgirl. I will have the outfit information in the description box down below. So if you wanna see how I got this zombie look, then just stay tuned. I have already prepped and primed my eye and I'm using the color Venetian Red from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. You do not have to worry about making this look neat. Sweep it through your crease, blending upward. With a smaller brush, I am taking the same color and applying it to the inner corner of my eye. I don't know what you want. Using my Morph palette, I am using the black color and applying this to my lid and blending upward into my crease area. You can use any black shadow for this. Let's have a bit. I am now applying the same black color under my eye. And now lightly dragging the color downward. Going back in with the color Venetian Red, I am dragging it down around the black, almost like an outline to the center of my eye. Going in with my black liner, I will now color my waterline and lash line. I am using NYX Doll Eye Mascara. Next up is my face. I applied my basic foundation along with the setting powder and I am now using the black shadow for contour. I will run this color along my cheekbones, temples, forehead, chin area, and nose. And that smile is my boyfriend making me laugh. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on. With the leftover color from the brush, I will lightly brush it throughout the rest of my face. Run to the other side. Don't forget to add some to your neck as well. Next is this awesome lipstick from Lime Crime in the color Ass Flat. I am obsessed with it. It is so pretty. I will apply one of the fake tattoos to my neck by spraying some water on the back of it. And it is now dripping down my shirt. <laughs> Wait about 45 seconds before removing the paper and voila. Before 
Before applying the fake blood, I want to do my hair. I had curled my hair prior to filming using my Cortex hair wand, and I am now just going to separate it straight down the middle and create pigtails. As you can see, I snuck off to change into my outfit and I am now applying the fake blood. I thought it would be a little bit more liquidy, but this will do the job. To complete the look, I'm applying it to the bottom of my lip and then to my neck. So this right here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And like always, if there's something that you may want to see next, comment in the comment box below. I will see you guys next week. Bye!